Hello? It's Ayabe. Masuda told me to give you a ring. You need something? Yeah. Info I hear you got. You got the cash? I'm done handing out freebies. Oh, and the price will depend on what you want to know. Well, it just so happens you already told Kaitos on the price. 200 grand. Hmm? You know how all that money got stolen from the Matsugane? I want to know what happened to it. And what? I said it'd be 200k? That's what he told me. In that case, let's make it 100. Price drops with age. Oh, does it? Look. I'm not pulling the numbers out of my ass. I got calculations. System. Anyway, I'll drop by your place tomorrow. Have the cash ready. <sighs> Hello? It's Ayabe. Wake up and look behind you. <laughs> huh? God, next time just knock, would you? Those the files on the Matsugane robbery investigation? Investigation? What have you been smoking? No Yakuza's gonna report a robbery on their office. I mean, they'd have cops swarming the place. Wait. The Matsugane incident was never a formal case. I rounded all of this up myself. You have the cash? A hundred grand, just like you asked. Nice. Everything's so clear. These are practically real case files. 
You want to know how long I spend on this stuff? Way more than I do on the streets, that's for sure. <laughs> Someone's proud of himself. <laughs> now then, this is the floor plan for the Matsugane family office. It's from a year ago when the break-in happened. They haven't remodeled since then, have they? <laughs> Doubt it. So, to avoid getting seen by the security camera, the thief snuck in behind a guy coming in. Once they were in the camera's blind spot, he pistol whipped the guy and knocked him out cold. At the time, Kaito was the only one watching over the office. That's why the thief went in at 3 p.m. Barely any guards to deal with. All he had to do was point his gun at Kaito and get him to open the safe. There was only one thief. Why didn't Kaito-san fight back? What would you do if a guy pointed a gun at your head and then shot the ceiling to prove his point? Even a guy like him would freeze up under that kind of pressure. You're really gonna chance playing hero? Once the safe was open, the thief smacked Kaito too. Knocked him out just like the last guy. And that's how the story ends. Sounds a little too well thought out. <laughs> this guy was a pro. And consider this. If he didn't know when the office would be empty, he'd never have been able to pull it off. Clearly, he had a contact on the inside. Maybe. But still, I don't understand why Kaito-san reacted like that. Normally, he'd have killed the guy or died trying. <laughs> thought you'd say that. Hmm? That was all just a warm-up. This next bit is what's worth the hundred grand. So, I said Kaito was alone in the office, right? Well, turns out someone else was there too. Huh? Higashi. He saw the whole thing go down. But Kaito is the guy who took the proverbial bullet. It's gonna be my turn. <laughs> Apparently the poor guy was polishing his boss's shoes off in the corner. By the time he figured out what was going on, he was fucked. Okay then, you got me. The money's yours. I'll just... go get it. Guess he couldn't forget that face if he tried. It was seared into his memory. You could say it all worked out for the best, since no one got killed. You could also say Higashi abandoned his Aniki and let the thief get away. And that's one way for a Yakuza to lose a finger. Kaito never did tell anyone else that Higashi froze like a deer in the headlights. Instead, he took the fall for the missing hundred mil and got himself tossed out of the family. 
Why am I not surprised? That sounds exactly like what Kaito-san would do. Right? But what happened next? How did Higashi get the money back? Couldn't have been easy. He chased the thief down and took it back. Thought that'd get Kaito back into the fold, which... it obviously didn't. Thing is, he needed access to the police database to search for faces. I see it now. That's why you know what you do, huh? You think so? It's the only way you'd know about this case. They never filed a police report after all. <laughs> ding, ding, ding! Long story short, Higashi used the database and found his man. A homeless guy living on the streets of Kamurocho. Known around town as Red Nose. Here, just sent you a pic. That's what he looked like before his life went to shit. I don't think his nose is all that red. Not my name. Don't ask me. Anyway, I think you know what came next. He tracked Red Nose down and took the money back. But Kaito-san's still out in the cold. Ain't that funny? Meanwhile, Higashi's shooting up the ranks. Guess he got on Hamura's good side. And Red Nose? Haven't heard a peep about him. And I'm keen to keep it that way. Higashi didn't... kill him, did he? Beats me. Hmm. Well, how was it? Worth the hundred Gs? A year ago, Higashi must have turned the city upside down looking for Red Nose. If a guy like him could pull that off, so can I. Hello. Do you have a second? Huh? I'm looking for a man named Red Nose. Red Nose? That homeless guy? Yeah, I know him. I ain't seen him in at least a year, though. Any idea where he went? Nope. Uh, maybe a drink will jog your memory? No, I, I really don't know. Go bug someone else. guys.
You have a minute, sir? What do you want? Uh, I'm looking for someone. Man by the name of Red Nose. Call that a Red Nose? I sure as hell don't. Yeah, I thought the same thing. Guess that's what his friends call him, though. Never seen him. Now fuck off, yeah? Damn, guy. Excuse me, can I ask you something? Not interested. Sorry. It won't be long, please. Do you know a man named Red Nose? Oh. Yeah, I suppose he looks familiar. Any idea where he is? <sighs> Look, I haven't seen him in ages, man. I guess he skipped town. Or worse. Oh, thanks. guys. Oh, no. 
Stay down. Sorry, can I ask you something? Depends. What do you want? I'm looking for someone. A man by the name of Red Nose. Red Nose? Never heard of him. Nothing, huh? But maybe my friends know something. Can you ask them? You bet. Might take some time, though. That's all right. I can wait. If you say so. Oh, and in return, I've got this thing called a play pass. You mind taking a shot? Game this big shot committee just opened. They call it Dice and Cube over at Paradise VR. Which is what? It's uh, some kind of fancy board game. But my legs are shot to shit. No VR for this hobo. Yeah, I guess you'd still have to move around. I got a few friends who've tried, but it sounds like they're all having trouble. So I want you to get a prize for me. Young guy like you can do it no problem. What do you say? Sounds interesting. All right, you wait here. I'll go win you that prize. Thanks a million, buddy. I'll ask around about your red nose in the meantime. Must we? Nope. 
お願いします。Yeah. Here we go. Let's do this. Whoa! Here we go. Almost there. Ah! <laughs> 
almost there. Got it. Crossroads. Roll them. Go. there.
Guess we're doing this. Nice try, jerk. Excuse me.
あのー。You don't give up, do you?
What a waste. Really, guys? Stay down. Hey, pal, how'd it go? Get me one of those sweet VR prizes? Piece of cake. Whoa, for real? I wasn't expecting you to actually win. Anyways, I asked around about your red nose fellow. Still don't know where he is, but I did find who might. Yeah? At least that's what they told me. Oh, and speak of the devil. You're the one looking for that homeless guy? Yeah? You find him? No, not yet. Try heading over to the children's park, then. Some volunteers are handing out free food. All the hungry homeless of Kamurocho will be there. Thanks for the tip. Eh, don't mention it. See ya. You asked for it.
Really, guys? Yo, it's Kaito. Where are you? On my way to the children's park. Think I might run into the thief. You mean the guy who robbed us is still in town? Not sure. But even if he isn't, I might find a lead or two. According to Ayabe, the thief was a homeless guy by the name of Red Nose. You're saying a bum took our money? Looks like it. No clue if he's still alive, though. After Higashi got to him, that is. Right. Well, I'm in. See you at the children's park, yeah? Stay down. Hey, sorry about this. Looks like they weren't handing out food after all. My bad. So we're doing this instead? Yep. Red Nose sends his regards! <laughs> <laughs> You guys are getting old for this. Why'd you attack me? We wanted to know who you are. Why would someone want to know about Red Nose now? So, you're a friend of his? Is he still alive? No. Hasn't been for a while now. When'd he die? About a year ago. Someone found him floating face up in the sewer. Body was all shot up with bullet holes. Shot? Did you go to the police? No, of course not. What are the cops gonna do for us? Dead bum in a ditch is just more paperwork for them. Either way, his body's long gone. But we still want to find out what happened to him. 
That's the best funeral we can give him now. <sighs> right. Don't have a clue who killed him, though. Or why. All we remember is that a year ago, some Tojo clan Yakuza was looking for him. Must be Higashi. And is that Yakuza the one who killed Red Nose? <sighs> Not sure. Those types are kinda out of our league, you know? We thought if anyone would know something, it'd be you. That's why we... Sorry, but my buddy here's got more fight in him than some random Yakuza. Fighting's been the only constant thing in his life. <laughs> That's Kamurocho for you. You're late, Kaito-san. Is this the guy who was looking for Red Nose? Yep, that's him. Not a doubt in my mind. So, a year ago, Higashi took the money back from Red Nose and returned it to the Matsugane family. Around the same time, Red Nose turns up ice cold in the sewer. Who do you think killed him? I... I just can't believe it. Higashi's not a murderer. Where would he have even gotten a gun? There are ways. This is Gamurocho, remember? I'm gonna go talk to Higashi. You're coming too, right Kaito-san? Don't you want to know what happened? Okay, I'll come. Let's head to Charles then. <laughs>